hello everyone today's class we will discuss about the electrolysis or the and and the th one of the th most important theory of electrolysis now first of all you have to know what is electrolysis and what is electrolytic cell electrolytic cell is the cell in which the external source source of voltage that means external electricity is used to carry out the chemical reaction just it is the inverse case of the previous electrochemical cell now one of the very important or very common question is the what is the difference between the electrolytic cell and electrochemical cell see in electrochemical cell no in electrochemical cell the chemical reaction takes place and forms the electricity but in electrolytic cell the chemical reaction takes place with the help of external voltage that means the external source of voltage is used to bring chemical reaction in simple word in electrochemical cell electricity is produced but here in electrolytic cell chemical uh, electricity is consumed or used the major difference next thing if you just see the half cell reactions in electrolytic cell and electrochemical cell it will get you will observe the inverse case that means in electrochemical cell at anode oxidations happens but in cathode reductions occur on the other hand in electrolytic cell the in the anode reaction happens but in cathode oxidation is going on that means simply the opposite case with respect to the electrochemical cell so how electrochemical cell is used let us take an example here suppose a simple beaker where two copper electrode is there both of the electrode is made up of copper metal and this one is suppose anode and this one is cathode and we just added a external voltage how about this one any battery or any cell okay we supplies the dc current so dc current is flowing when the current will flow when the current will start to flow the reaction will start and this anode and this anode that means copper um, in this anode the reaction is copper to positive takes to electron and reduce to copper and in cathode copper solid goes to copper to positive via losing two electron that means oxidation that means in other sense we can say in electrolytic cell of in this particular cell copper is deposited at the cathode that means this one is cathode this one is anode that means reaction starting from here and ends here that means copper oxidizes from here to here that means copper is deposited at the cathode and copper is converted to copper to positive into anode at anode that's why okay next thing is the electrolysis electrolysis is the process in which this type of reaction that means the reaction in which chemical sorry the uh, electrolysis is the process of decomposition of chemical substances into its constituents or atoms on, on passing electricity that means with the help of electricity chemical reactions will take place and this process is known as electrolysis the electrolysis process is mainly used in the industrial scale okay now see the first law of electrolysis which is known as faraday's first law of electrolysis ah do you see next see faraday's first law of electrolysis it states that the amount of substance deposited at any electrode during electrolysis is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity passed through the electrolyte that means suppose this is a cell a simple container where two electrodes we added and they connected with external voltage that means 
this external voltage will say or the external the external voltage is directly proportional to the amount of the what amount of the quantity of the substance deposited in particular electrode okay suppose amount of substance we say m amount of the substance we say m this one and q is the charge q is the charge passed through the this electrolytic cell then m proportional to q and as we know q equal to i t i is the current t is the time and z is the proportionality constant and is known as electrochemical equivalence electrochemical equivalence now see where q is the quantity of charge passed and i is the current in ampere this one ampere is unity a passed through time in second z is the constant known as chemical equivalence now what is the definition of chemical equivalence if i equal to one and t equal to one that means for that particular case m becomes z see if i equal to one ampere that means current is one ampere and t is one second then m equal to z which signifies the uh, definition thus electrochemical equivalence is defined as the mass of the substance deposited when one ampere one ampere current passed through the cell for the time of one second okay clear now next next thing very important most main things is that what do you mean by faraday's constant what do you mean by faraday's constant in the sense of what charge faraday's constant means that the total charge of one mole of electron faraday's constant means that total charge of one mole of electron since we know one mole of electron means 6.023 10 to the power 23 number of atoms and the charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb okay and this one is mole inverse mole inverse that's why coulomb mole inverse if we just multiply these two we will get 9 6 4 8 7 coulomb per mole coulomb per mole for our simplicity in maximum numericals we will we shall use 96500 that means this 487 487 we taking 500 okay for our simplicity let's take an example here let's take an example here question is there how much electricity in terms of faraday is required to produce 20 gram of calcium from molten copper chloride, uh, calcium chloride suppose molten calcium chloride is in a container and past electricity then what will be the charge in the sense of faraday now as we know m equal to z q q equal to m by z z is the what z is the chemical equivalence and z is equal to the atomic mass atomic mass divided by valency into 96500 that means faraday's constant okay just put these values and you will get the result of 96500 coulomb okay since it is q coulomb if this is in coulomb but if we want to transfer in faraday then obviously we have to divide with one faraday that means 96500 if we divide this one by this one we will get one faraday that means q should be one faraday for this that means one faraday charge produced or charge required to produce 20 gram of calcium from its molten calcium product okay no next thing is the faraday's second law of electrolysis see faraday's second law of electrolysis states that when equal charges is passed through the different electrolyte different electron this different electron may be maybe two three four maybe okay mass of the substances deposited in directly proportional to its equivalent weight okay equivalent weight remember this one equivalent weight that means it is connected to the normality 
equivalent weight equivalent weight equal to the molar mass divided by the acidity or viscidity as i explained in the first chapter and also in class 11 also okay which is directly proportional to the equivalent weight suppose let us take an example m1 is the equivalent weight and e is the electricity for component one here is the component two therefore is component two then m1 by m2 equal to e1 by e2 as it is, says no directly proportional to its equivalent mass m1 m1 by m2 equal to e2 by e1 by e2 if you just cross multiplied we will get m1 by e1 m2 by e2 m1 by e1 m2 by e2 which is equal to the another another uh, what, is, what is called another component m3 by e3 and this way going on okay understood no in our next class we will discuss about the cell and the types of cell and tomorrow that means saturday we will finish our chapter of electrochemistry okay